Welcome to another episode in the Affinity Publisher beta series in which we will learn all we can about this fantastic new tool from Serif. If you've not watched the previous episode, I'll leave a link in the description below so be sure to check it out. I'm Mike from Preston Mike and in this episode, we're going to take a quick look at the text tool features that Publisher comes bundled with. We begin with a cover page. We need to create the title. The best tool for this is the artistic text tool that I mentioned in the previous video as well. When you select the artistic text tool, you have the contextual menu that opens up in the menu bar. Here you can change the font properties, text color, character styles, paragraph styles, alignment properties, bullet lists, numbered lists, paragraph leading, character panel, paragraph panel and the typography. Well, all these are available here. You can also access the character, paragraph, textiles, typography and alignment options from the right panel which is right next to the layers tab. The same menu options are available even for the frame text tool, saving two, the columns and ruler. Can you spot them? Yeah, they're here. Now, the frame text tool is the one we use to create the content including chapter headings, subheadings and the body. You can format it in various ways. While working with text, it is good to know that there is a menu called text right there where you can find even more options. Here's where you will find the filler text option too. Use it after you've dragged a text frame. And there you go, your text box is filled with text you can read. Now let's change the number of columns in the text. It's really easy to accomplish. Just increase the number to what you want. Let's talk about text styles. Create a new page. Insert a text frame. And instead of fill a text, let's type it out. Select the title and drop down the paragraph styles menu. Choose heading 1 to change you can also change your font if you don't like what's uh, there right now. You can also add a drop cap style to the first paragraph. Now notice that it applied it to all the paragraphs as this is filler text and I cannot select just one portion of it. When you type your own text it will be different. The typographic panel gives you some more options to customize the look of your text. Don't overuse this feature. To change the look of this page from drab to beautiful, I'm going to insert an image. By the way, if you want to learn how to create images like these in a jiffy, watch my Lumina 2018 videos and my Affinity videos. Links in the description below. So finally we'll create a bullet list and transform it into columns as well. In the next video we'll look at image and placeholder that's image frame tools in more detail so make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified when the video is uploaded. That's it for this video there definitely is a lot more you can explore in publisher with regards to text but that's for another video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.